Hey, what's up guys? This is Vince from WhenInManila.com and Wim Plays, and we're going to talk about how to play Axie Infinity. Uh, in my previous videos, I talked about what is Axie Infinity, how you earn from it, um, how to get started, how to pick your team, uh, how to get a team. Uh, so we did all the basics, and if now you're ready, you have your team, you're ready to play, here's how you play it, and we'll get right into it. So this is, well, I talked more in-depth in the previous video, but this is the site where you get the the game start uh the game from just hit play now and it'll give you it'll, you'll download this widget mavis hub and you just hit play uh well i think the first time you'll have to install it you'll hit install there where it says play you'll install it then you'll hit play uh, after you log in uh with your email and your password so here you go so when you first log in these three won't be there it'll be empty but this is how you play the game, and I'll explain every part of this menu. So the first thing you do is you go to your axes. So again, this will be empty, this part where my mouse is. Uh, there won't be any three axes there the first time. You go to axes, you hit sync axis, and it'll grab your axes that you already bought or that your uh, manager sent you if you're a scholar. Uh, it'll sync them. And once they're synced, you just go back. Well, you can click on them and see their stats or whatnot. Uh, but you go back and they still won't be there now you go to teams and you create a new team so that's where you create a team uh and you put the three of them there in fact we'll do something like that right now because the placement matters where you place them so here we go so let's just say in front you want a tank so you usually want your uh plant up front uh, I'll show you my usual setup, and then in the future, you're welcome to change it around. But you'll have your plant up here. So I, I, I think that's, if you want to change that, just if you have more than one, or you click the wrong one, you can either just click on it and move it, or if you just want to completely change it, just hit change. And in fact, let's get a, let's get a green plant. That way, you know it's a plant. There you go. Uh, and then you click the next plus button, and uh, I, you will put your second axie, whatever it is. In this case, it's that. Uh, and let's say you do want that, but you want it there, you can just move it. And then you'll get your last axie. So there you go. So usually you want your... The way the game is played is you attack the closest axie to you. So imagine this is the same setup for the other side, if they're doing the same thing, where a lot of them, this is the setup. Um, you will usually attack the front axie. So that's why you want your tank up front, because you will attack the axie closest to you. Except your own, of course. So all three of my axes will attack their axie, who would be positioned around here, uh, the closest one. So you want your tank right there. Unless you have some special cards, like... Uh, well, I don't have it on the axie with me. Actually, let me, let me get my axie with that special card, just to show you this one. In fact, let's switch that, because usually this would be a setup for this. So this tri spikes target enemy with the lowest shield when comboed with two or more cards. So there are some special cards that will target someone other than the closest Axie if you play them right. So this one needs to be played with two or more cards for it to take effect, and you need to play this as your first card uh, when with your Axie. <clears throat> but sorry, I'm getting into cards, which I haven't even explained. Uh, but yeah, each Axie has four different cards and two of each. And they're pretty much just shuffled into the deck and you randomly draw in the beginning six cards then two cards per round for pvp i'll get more into that later uh, but just wanted to show you what this positioning is that way if you have you have two axes here they're sure to attack pretty much the same one the problem with the middle one is if the opponent is positioned like this the middle one randomly attacks either the top or bottom because they're equi equidistant they're equally Again, they attack the closest Axie. And these two will be just as far as this one. So let's just say, you know, let's say these are the two Axies on the other end. And this is your Axie. He will attack randomly top or bottom. So you don't want that. You kind of want to know who you want to kill. Because you want to kill one right away. So that's why this is usually the best position. Where these two, they'll usually attack. If the Axies are split up that way, they'll usually attack the one on top. That's why you want two up top. As compared to if they were all, all in the middle, then they'll ran if, if the axes are top and bottom, it might randomly attack. So for now, if that's complicated, just keep it this way. And you'll figure that out next time. So there you go. Then you, you need a name. Uh, first 
team and you save your team. It won't let you move forward without a name. So there you go. And then you actually need to still click on that. And well, you can edit if you want to change them around or you need to click on it and hit select. Once you hit select, see, these are the three axes we just picked now. So now they will show up here. So that's axes, that's teams. Inventory will show your resources. So if you have SLP you've won or other things you've won. I won this for being in the top 100 last season, uh, which was really cool. The first season I joined, uh, got really lucky, but but yeah. So uh, that, you know, that humble brag right there, I had to show that. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's what inventory is. This is your name. These are the daily quests. In the future, they will have weekly and special. It's not there yet. But you pretty much check in every day. You do 10 adventures, win 10 adventures, and you win five matches, five arenas. Win 10 adventures, win five arenas, and you get an extra bonus, 50 SLP. So you kind of want to log in here as much as you can daily, or at least if you're a scholar, I think it's daily, or I don't know if your managers are nice and they say, you know, five times a week is fine. But the more you log in and do these, uh, the quicker it is. In the beginning, it might take four, uh, it, they say it's two to four hours to complete these. Uh, in the beginning, it might be closer to four, and I'll explain later because in adventure mode, you're very low rank. But towards the end, you, you'll probably be spending two or less hours and you can rush through these. Uh, so there you go. That's the quest. Again, your name. Energy. This is what you use every day. In the beginning, you will have three axes, three to nine. You get to store, this is just storage. You're able to store 20 energy. And it refreshes five energy every six hours. Now, energy is what you need to get the rewards. It's different for adventure and different for arena. In adventure, the rewards you get are experience, which levels up your axes. Uh, and whether you have energy or not, you still get SLP in adventure mode. In arena, with energy, you win SLPs if you win. With or without energy, you just move up or down in rank, your MMR. I'll explain more of that later. But that's what energy is. In the beginning, use all, all your energy on adventure. I'll explain more later why. Uh, these two are the last things I'll explain, but let's go to these four buttons. This is the settings. So just, you know, uh, music's too loud for me. I lowered it. That's, but you know, the usual settings. Uh, this one is your friends. Uh, it's glitched up right now, but my friends, or I just don't have friends. <laughs> but no, I swear I had some. Uh, but I had some already accepted. It's been glitching up because I've been trying to add a few more of my scholars, uh, but it's been glitching up. But these are your friends. Just add friend. Uh, you need the Ronin address. Type in the Ronin address here, and you'll be able to add them. This one is your um, battle log. You're able to watch previous battles. Uh, I, I, hmm, I should have more, but uh, you're able to watch previous bow, battles both in Arena and in Adventure. So you can actually click on it and re-watch it. This one was a win, so relive the glory. So with this, you actually get to see the cards they played. So when you're playing, you usually only see your cards. When you watch the replays, you see their cards as well. That way you can see, oh look, you can see uh, I'll explain all the aspects of this later on when I'm talking about Arena, but I'm just showing you how you can re-watch your, uh, your battles. Um, and you can actually click on, even in the actual battle, you can click on your axis, this is your cards, and you can click on their axis to see their cards. But in this case, you're able to pause it and you're able to speed it up or slow it down because this is a replay. So that's what you can do with replay. We'll exit that now. So that is your battle log we won't look at the defeats <laughs> and the last button here uh, for your options is your are your standings so uh oh my god it dropped so far i was at around i was in the hundreds i dropped i had a bad losing streak yesterday so here you go this is your mmr mmr stands for a uh, matchmaking rank the higher it is the more slp you win per you earn per win but also, the higher it is, the harder your opponents because everyone's at that high rank. Uh, at, at that high MMR. This is your rank. When you first start, you'll probably be at like rank, I don't know, 3 million, 300,000, or whatever. Something's really, really high. Uh, but don't worry, it moves up pretty quick as you play. And it actually, I think it resets every season. They have a season where you earn rewards, 
almost I heard I've only joined one season so I'm not sure but I heard it's almost like every other month or something like that um, so yeah so the season ended and these are the rewards you get uh, last season I was in top 100 I barely made it 99 uh, and that's what I won if you are in the top 300 you earn rewards so it's actually something pretty cool it was my goal to just get earn a reward and I was extra happy that it fell in the top 100 uh, so this rank doesn't matter so much right now as far as I know I'm not sure but as far as I know I think it resets when the new season starts so yeah so these are the standings right now you can see I think up to top up to the 100 people if you scroll down if you care if you want, or if you want to see your name and then plus you you'll see where you are and again this is the MMR the matchmaking rank so that's that. So now the last two things uh, on active playing the games, Adventure and Arena. You want to use all your energy on Adventure. Um, and we will... Oh, shoot. Sorry. Let me actually get my Adventure team. Some teams are good at Adventure. Some teams... Team validation failed. Hmm. What is going on? What is that? Okay. What did I do wrong? I think I just need to log into Ronin. I'm in Ronin. Okie dokie. Let's try Adventure Team. Okay, why is that doing that? So anyway, doesn't matter. Um, so this is my Adventure Team. Some teams are good for Adventure, some teams are good for Arena. So when you have more axes, you're able to mix them and match. So for adventure, here's what you need to know. In the beginning, this will all be blank except for this first stage. Uh, you will be at level one. The levels do not transfer to uh, arena. In arena, everyone's level one or zero. Uh, everyone's the same level. In arena, you don't level up or down to make it a fair match. Uh, this is just for a, uh, adventure. You can see over here, this is the maximum number of SLP you can earn from Adventure, 100. Which is why a lot of scholars, they tell them to earn 150 at least because they get 100 from Adventure and then they get the 50 from the daily quest. Uh, so in the beginning, you want to use all your, all your energy here. Energy, we discussed earlier. You want to use it all on Adventure to level up your axes because when you're doing level, just stage one you're earning one slp if that and that'll take you a hundred times to play this to earn the 100 which is not efficient whereas compared to if you're at the higher levels you earn 10 to 20 slp per so i'm at the point where i'm only having to do this eight times but i do it 10 times for the quest the daily quest where you need to win 10 times uh but i'm doing the, i only need to play this around eight nine times and i already have about the hundred which is perfect. It makes it easier. I get to do it in like, I don't know, 30 minutes or less. Uh, and I get the 100 SLP that is worth money or that I can use for breeding. So you want to use all your energy here. Now, if you don't three star it, that means three stars, that means you had three axes survive at the end. If you don't three star a stage, I recommend you grind the stage before that. Or actually, two stars maybe is okay. Because there were some stages that were just really harder for me, like this one. And I, I went on. But if you lose on a stage, don't force it. Because whether you win or lose, you're wasting energy. So I would just go back the stage before it and grind that until you level up at least once. Then try that stage again. Uh, so yeah. So we will do just the basic Ruin 1. I'll just show you how to play. Uh, but this will be pretty easy for me because uh, I'm at the high level in this, this stage 1. So you... It's different for Adventure and Arena. Here in Adventure mode, you will get four energy. This is your energy in the beginning. You will get six cards randomly. So again, each Axie has four cards, two of each. So eight cards total. Uh, eight cards, yeah. Uh, but four different types of cards. So all these four times two, so eight. 16, 24, all 24 cards are shuffled into one deck and you randomly draw six. You don't draw per Axie, you just draw six from all their cards. So if there are cases where you'll draw all six for one Axie and zero for the other two. In this case, it was a pretty even split where I got one, two, and three. Uh, so now, 
you can see on the upper left hand corner there's a number one that is how much energy it costs to play this card so i have four energy technically i can play four cards most cards cost one i think there's one card that costs two but i don't see anyone use it uh, and then there are a lot of cards a few cards that cost zero the zero cards are nice because they're free but they're not as effective as the one cards but depends so in this case i didn't draw any zero cards um my cards are in adventure mode your cards do level up with your axis so the damage is astoundingly high they are that high usually where i can just one hit these opponents okay uh, but pretty much i'm just gonna one hit them and they're gonna die uh because of my level but you can also click on them to see what they do so you can see they have their own energy uh, i'm not sure for adventure mode how many energy they start off with but they have the free cards and they have the paid cards uh that one energy cost cards similar to your cards this is this red with the sword mark uh i mean number is your attack that's how much damage you will do against the opponent this shield green shield is how much defense you have how much shield you have so the opponents all three of them sometimes they have different cards so even though they look the same they might have different cards uh, but in this case they don't because it's only stage one they have the same cards so none of them have any shield so whatever damage you want to do sometimes you want to calculate that where they might put out this much shield once you get to the advanced levels especially pvp but here they won't do any dam any, any shield so it's pretty easy so with my current scenario, I would just put these three out and I would kill most of them except the last one. Uh, because what happens is once it dies, even though I play these two cards, when it dies with the first card, my Axie won't attack the next one. The, that Axie just stops. But I won't do that just, so, just to prolong it a bit. So I will just use this card from my plant, which also, once you get to learn your, your cards, sorry, it's high like that, uh, you can see it says gain one energy if this Axie shield breaks can only trigger once per round So you kind of want to gain energy as you're playing because Again, these are very low when you're a starter the damage so energy even though you use all four energy usually won't kill even the first one So something like this is pretty good. So let's just play that These numbers up here are the order. So this is based on your speed if you click on your Axie you can see speed Again, these are exaggerated because I'm at a high level, but these don't transfer to PvP. So, my Aqua is the fastest, my Beast is the second, my Plant is the slowest. Now, uh, for them, they're just slow. When you're playing PvP, it's a mix of who goes first, you, them, you, them, it's a mix of that. So, we will end turn. So, once you're ready with your action, which is that, you can put it back. If you change your mind, just click on it. But that's all I'm doing just because I'm just showing you guys. So, I'm going to attack. There we go. It survived. Now it's going to attack me. So 60 damage, that's my shield. So the shield broke. So I, that card gave me an extra energy. I was at 3. Now I'm at 4. So that's that. This card, uh, it gained 1 energy when comboed with a plant card. Since it doesn't have a combo, it's not, a good, it's not good to use. But now, look, let's say I play 3 cards from my Aqua. Look what happens when I play 3 cards. We'll end turn. It's going to attack the closest one, and it's that one. After, when it dies, it doesn't. the rest of the cards aren't used anymore. So you, that's where you kind of want to calculate where, okay, I need my other Axie to do an attack. Okay, so now uh, they will attack the closest. So since they're on top, this is the closest. So let's try, actually, let's show you where sometimes in PvP or even in Adventure, let's say you don't have good cards. You don't have a good combo nothing there's nothing worth doing you can actually not do anything and just end turn you can skip i have seven energy after this turn i will get uh i believe in adventure it's three more energy so i'll be at 10. so so you keep your energy and you get more okay so i think now's a good time to use the combo because you gain one energy when combo with a plant card and i'll heal as well uh and in fact let's try to kill this guy uh, I have this really good card, guaranteed a critical strike when comboed with at least two other cards. So, I'm, I have way too much energy anyway, so I'll just do that. Kill that one. With one hit. Need to do all that. <laughs> but now, I get one energy from that, and now I steal one energy with that, and I heal. So, that's... Uh, this one is just if you want to surrender, don't surrender. 
And now let's just kill it. Just need one card. And ta-da. Yay, we won! So, you get experience, but max is 25 as far as I know. So I've hit my level cap. I can't go any higher. And I still can't finish the adventure mode because the later stages are really hard. I just haven't put an effort into it yet. But, yeah. See, you get one small love potion. That, that'll that take you forever if you're farming this to get to 100. So that's why you want to go to the higher levels where you're getting way more. Uh, so that is adventure mode. I see I was at 60. Now I, I'm at 59 energy now. So now let's... Uh, I won't play Arena because that's going to take a while to play. But just it's similar to Adventure. And I'll just show you uh, a previous... Oh, so even the adventures get logged. I'll show you a previous one where we can pause. But when you play Arena, let's pause it. You you won't see see these red ones. That's your opponent. You won't see these cards. So you'll just see your cards, and you'll see the order. In this case, my I I went third, fifth, and sixth. He had much faster axes. He went first and second, and then I went third. So you won't see these, but you can see it up here. Where he goes first, second, I went third. So that's where you can time what you're doing. Um, and yeah, and again, so as you can see here, these are the normal levels. 80 damage, 100 damage, 20 damage. Uh, 100 is usually the normal high for a card for damage. Uh, these are the normal levels for cards as compared to my adventure mode earlier. Um... But let's just speed it up. And this is just the first person to kill all three axes wins. So uh, I got lucky in this one. Uh, and I pulled off the win. And I think at my level, I was able to get... I forgot. 10? So... Kill it, kill it. Yeah, this was a bit of a long match. There you go, the victory. Okay, so that is Arena. Um, I think that's the very basic. Oh, by the way, if you want to check out your axes and see what they do, you can view the details here. Uh, these are your four cards. Again, they're times two. Um, this is your health, how much health you'll have. Your speed, that's how you go faster or slower. Skill is supposedly uh, the higher the skill, the more damage it does when uh, the more combos do damage, like this one. Uh, deal 120% damage when comboed with another Nutcracker card. So supposedly the higher this is, the higher the combo damage. But from what I understand, it's not much. So it's not really a stat that people really go for. Uh, morale is how your is your crit chance, which is huge because when you crit, it's almost it's double or more damage, it seems. Um, but it's huge. So morale is, if you like critting, morale is what you need to get. Plus last stand. Last stand is when they deal a uh, killing blow to you, but your axi survives for a few more turns. Uh, that's what last stand is. So those are your four stats. These, um, I'll explain it. Not, uh, it might, be, it, yeah, it might be too much already if you're a beginner. But these are your parts. Four of them have to do with your cards. The two just have to do with extra stats. I'll explain that next time. That's more for when you're trying to pick out the right axes and when you're trying to find... That's a bit more meta already. So there you go. I explained how to use Mavis Hub, how to play Axie Infinity. And now you can play your first game of Axie Infinity, especially... I did this for our scholars because I we started picking up scholars and I'm having to explain the exact same thing every day <laughs> and I'm running out of breath. So now I can have them watch this video. So there you go. Hopefully that was helpful. If it was, please do like, subscribe, comment, the usual stuff. Please do watch us live as well as we play on Wim Plays on Facebook. Also join our group on Facebook. Face, uh, it's uh, Axie Infinity Global. And I will post a link to our Discord if you have extra questions or want to link up with our community. But yeah, I think that is it. 
My name is Vince from WhenInManila.com and Wimplays. Hope that was good for you too. Happy gaming. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.